This is the Toshiba Flash Air memory card. And today I'm going to show you how it will take photos from a DSLR. You can easily get them into Google Photos without using a laptop. So I take a picture. This example it is my bookshelf. And I just put the camera into playback mode. And as soon as I do that, you go into the settings app of your phone. And you'll find the Flash Air Wi-Fi network. And if you're doing this for the first time, the password is 12345678. But now that I'm on the Flash Air Wi-Fi network card, I can go into my camera app for the Flash Air. And after you wait just a second, it'll show up with the photo you just took. So we press the check mark. You can select all. And then you can choose the save button. This will take uh, just a moment here, as is wirelessly going from the DSLR to the iPhone. And now that that's complete, the photo is on your iPhone, and you can open up Google Photos. And that uh, recent photo will show up there. It'll take uh, just a second. And to get that to back up, you're going to want to change your Wi-Fi network back to your normal home network. So now that we're back on Wi-Fi, we can easily back up the photo to Google. So now the photo has been backed up, got backup complete. So we'll go to free up space and it will remove that, delete that photo. And now that I've done that, I can go into my photo app and go into recently deleted and delete those photos. So now you're not even taking up any space on your phone. And one last thing you can do is back in the Flash Air app, you can press on this menu button, go into to application settings, and clear the cache. And so that will also clear up space from the Flash Air app. So now the photo has gone wirelessly to, all the way to Google Photos. It's been deleted from my iPhone. And you can go back to your DSLR, and you can erase the photo from there. And now you're not taking up any storage and the photos in the cloud forever.